guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's Adrienne here and you are watching Bright Beauty 14. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a everyday makeup routine kind of video. But can I just let you guys know that I do not wear makeup every single day. A lot of the days I don't wear any makeup at all. But some days when I'm feeling like I need to kind of enhance my face a little bit, I just wear a small amount of makeup. So if you want to know how I do my makeup and what I use, then so, Keep on the first thing that I'm going to use is moisturizer, and this is the Vitamin E Moisture Cream from The Body Shop. It's really great to moisturize your skin and just make sure there's no dry patches, especially getting into the colder months. Your skin's going to start getting dried out, so you definitely want to use a moisturizer before you make up before your makeup and I always make sure to use this even if I'm not wearing makeup that day. The next thing I do and this is completely optional I don't do this every time um, I only do this if I'm feeling I, like I look really tired or dead or if I have a lots of like or if I have a big pimple I will use the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer and this is a really nice stick concealer it's a cool like tube and um, it looks like a lipstick it goes on so easily and so when you're putting it under your eyes it fits perfectly like underneath and it goes on so creamy and easy to blend out honestly this is probably the best concealer I've ever used and you should definitely try this out so I only use this if um, my skin's looking kind of dead or there's a pimple but I don't use this every day and then to blend that out I make sure I use my favorite trusty old beauty blender which is no longer pink it is brown but what I love about these is that you can use them for so long I've had this for almost Two, for two years now, almost two years, and um, what's great is that you wash it with some soap or makeup remover and it goes back to pink. I swear it's so nice and it cleans really easily and it looks like new after, so definitely beauty blenders are a must-have when doing anything. And then even if I'm not wearing concealer, but to set it or just to apply on my skin just so there's no oil or so that a little bit extra coverage, I use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this is getting to its last bits. I've used this for a long time now and I've dropped it multiple times. It's really gone through a lot but I really do like it. It's in the shade 004 Sandstorm. That's the darkest color which is really light for the darkest color. So yeah. But I really do like this and it works so well. Um, this is, I, I sometimes use this but mostly um, this will, I'll, I'll use this if um, my skin is looking extra dead like I'm saying like I kind of look like a zombie and like I need some more life back in my face um, so I'll use the Model Co Peach Bellini blush and yes this is in the shade Peach Bellini and O2 and it's a really really nice blush it's got this pretty golden sheen and so when you apply it you're getting color but you're also getting a little bit of a golden highlight when it kind of reflects in certain lights so if you can see right now, like with the window on me right now, you can kind of see the sun reflecting off the gold, um, the gold glitter in the blush. It's not chunky, it's really just a light shimmer and it looks so natural and really Then pretty. next I will use um, my Too Faced Bonjour Summer Hello Summer 2014 Eyeshadow Collection Palette from Too Faced like I mentioned. And this palette is really great, it has nine nine yeah nine eyeshadows and there you are right there <laughs> has nine eyeshadows and it's really good um the color that I use for my eyebrows is this one it's called toasted coconut it's a nice light brown and it kind of matches really well when I put it in as you can see and then I use that with an angled brush from quo brushes I just you know draw that in so how I do my eyebrows is kind of half outlining half filling in so first I take the color and then I will um, just create a line underneath the front of my brow, really straight line. It looks very structured, but it'll look nice after. And then I will fill in just the tail. So I'll fill in, I'll create a line at the front, and then I'll fill in the end of my eyebrow so that there's more definition back there, and there's more kind of an outline and more definition, if you know what I mean. Um, and then once I do that, just to make it more soft, I will use this spoolie here or dispos disposable mascara brush and just comb through my eyebrows and everything will be nice and blended. Once I'm finished with that, I will start on mascara. So I will curl my eyelashes with the Shu Uemura Eyelash Curler. And this is made really specifically so that it curls the straightest of eyelashes. And I have very straight eyelashes, so sometimes I don't even bother because when I do it, it'll fall out after a while. So you got to really find the perfect mascara for you if you're like me. 
Um, but I like to use a combination of the CoverGirl um, Clump Crusher by Lash Blast and the um, Tarte Life Camera Lashes. Um, those two really work well to hold my eyelashes up. Um, but yeah, I really like these two. So I would definitely recommend those. And the waterproof formula because you don't want it literally just like transferring all over your face. And if you rub your eyes, don't even get me started. That's going to suck. <laughs> That's pretty much it for all my makeup. Uh, the last thing I do is just apply some lip balm or maybe a lip gloss. But mostly just a lip balm just to keep it simple. And this is just from the body shop. It's called the Born Lippy in Strawberry. And this is so nice. It's super hydrating, really glossy, and it does give a light amount of color. So you won't really have dry lips and you'll have a bit of color to your lips. So that is how I do kind of my almost somewhat everyday makeup routine. Here's a before and after kind of how I look. Definitely not super different, but it does bring some more life and color to my face on those days when I am looking very tired and just not ready for the day. This will help me look a lot more alive. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if it was helpful, give it a thumbs up and comment down below for any requests. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time. Ta-ta!